Chaitanya Charitamrit study, The Deliverance of Gopinath Patanayaka. This is Antilla chapter 9. Aganya Dhanya Chaitanya Gananam Prema Vanyaya Ninya Dhanya Jana Swanta Maru Shashwad Anupatam Aganya Dhanya Chaitanya Gananam There are countless devotees associates of Lord Chaitanya Gananam Prema Vanyaya That actually they are all the, they bring about the inundation of ecstatic love. Vinye, adhanya janya. Adhanya janya is those who are unfortunate people. Swanta maruhu. That, that the, those who are unfortunate, their hearts are like a desert. In the desert of the heart, shashwad anupatam. That state becomes filled with water. Shashwad anupatam. So here, like in other chapters, Krishna Skriraj Goswami starts by describing how a particular pastime of Lord Chaitanya can be best understood in the summary right at the beginning. So, essentially, this we can understand the purpose of the author by looking at what the summary is. Because the same incident can be understood in many different ways. And one way to understand it effectively is to look at the angle that the author takes for explaining it. This angle enables us to move forward in a constructive direction without ourselves getting misled in many of the details. So the direction over here is that it is actually the how the devotees of the Lord enrich those who are non-devotees. That how they are they bring the flood of love to those who are who are not devoted to, to others. Those whose hearts are dry because of the absence of devotion. So, Jaya Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Dayamai Jaya Jaya Nityananda Karuna Ridai. So, like many other verses, there is the rhyme over here. Lord Chaitanya is merciful and also Nityananda Prabhu is also merciful. Karuna Ridai Dayamai. And here, The overall mood is of glorification, which goes on usually for the first few verses. Jaya Advaita Acharya Jaya Jaya Dayamai Jaya Gaura Bhakta Gana Sabara Samai. So, well, mercy is mercy is attributed to Advaita Acharya. Rasa is attributed to Gaura Bhakta Gana. To experience spirituality is much easier than is one thing to explain spirituality is another thing and not everyone who experiences spirituality can explain spirituality and we could say that there are these four distinct quadrants and some people explain neither explain nor experience they explain but don't experience they experience but don't explain and they explain and experience. So, those who want to share their experiences with others, they are merciful. They are compassionate. And that's what is being talked about over here. That here he is being described as the combination of these two things. Dayamai, those who are merciful, they will share their experiences with others. Rasamai, they may not share their experiences, but still they do have those experiences and they relish them. Text 4 Eimata Mahaprabhu Bhaktagana Sangye 
तीजा चले वास करे न कृष्ण प्रेम रंगे यही मत इन दिस वे महाप्रभु भक्तगण संगे महा चेतन महाप्रभु विथ इज असोसिएट्स वॉट डिड यू नीलाचल वास करे न कृष्ण प्रेम रंगे ही रिसाइडेड इन इलाचल एंड ही डिलाइटेड इन कृष्ण प्रेम सो संगे एंड रंगे इज द राइम टू द एसोसिएशन टू एक्सपीरियंस द सेटिस्फैक्शन स्पिरिचुअल सेटिस्फैक्शन सो आफ्टर द इन्वोकेशन द ग्लोरिफिकेशन the summarization now the narration begins narration is about chaitanya mahaprabhu in nilachala antare bahire krishna virah tarang nana bhave vyakul prabhur man ar ang so antare bahire krishna virah tarang inside and outside there is separation from the lord krishna virah tarang that was uh, he experienced that and nana bhave vyakul prabhur man ar ang and this way in various ways his vyakul it was agitated his mind and his body so tarang is significant here that this came as waves ecstasy the separation just like waves are undulating they go up and they go down similarly in this case the experience of ecstasy and of lack of ecstasy or rather the it could be also difference in the intensity of the experience of ecstasy of emotion was there in ocean there are always waves but sometimes those waves are very strong and sometimes they are not that strong so that's what is being described here कुल प्रभुर मन आर अंग दिनी नृत्य कीर्तन जगन्नाथ दर्शन रात्रि राय स्वरूप सने रस आस्वादन सो हुड लॉर्ड चेतन हाउ डिड दिस वेव्स एट वन लेवल द मोमेंट ऑफ द वेव्स इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ हिज द इफेक्ट ऑन द बॉडी एंड माइंड एंड नाउ द मोमेंट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम how things are flowing dine nrutya kirtan jagannath darshan so in nine in the daytime lord chaitanya would do things two things he would dance and he would sing and he would uh, go and have darshan of jagannath and ratri at night he would rasa swaroop ras rai swaroop par sane rasa aswadan it is intimate associates such as with ramanand rai he would relish ecstasy he would relish deep spiritual emotions so allo chaitanya mahaprabhu's life overall was reclusive but at least within that there were some things which were public and some which were not at all the things which were for the public were one thing that is in the day time he would sing he would He would, he would while he would be holding the darshan of jagannath others could have his darshan but at night it was he was experiencing such elevated emotions that most people couldn't understand and thus he would do that with his intimate associates like like ramanand rai mitri jagat tera lok asi kare na darshan yehi dekhi sei paaye krishna prem dhan so Three Jagatir Rasi from all the three worlds, people would come to have his darshan, and on seeing them, they would be enriched with Krishna prem. See, 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 see of ecstasy in relationship with the most intimate manifestation of god that is especially rare and those who could experience this were so special that uh, people would behold them and just by beholding them now 
how would can somebody else get love for krishna just by beholding this can happen at multiple levels when we behold someone who has spiritual experience at that time just seeing that makes at the very least it forces us to think about things we would normally not think about so if we don't see the things that challenge our existing world view then our existing world view never expands of course after we see some things that don't make sense we might somehow fit it into our world view and then move on with the same world view we might come up with some exp- some explanation for it now how much how sensible or satisfactory that explanation is may vary from person to person but if we blow go where the evidence goes where the evidence leads us then we start realizing that actually this experience this explanation is not sensible this explanation i need to revi- i need to revise it i need to make sense of this mm-hmm. and that's how by ex- by encountering people who are experiencing spiritual ecstasy we at least expand our world view to consider that there is there may be a another kind of happiness and maybe that happiness is much higher than the happiness that we experience normally through sensual gratification and then after that further we start thinking especially if that person is potent and also has a um, has is is able to pres- recommend a process by which we can get some similar experiences then we start that and we also embark on our journey so we could say first is when we encounter somebody having a spiritual experience we at least discover a new avenue to life that was unknown to us the new pathway and then if they give us a process and if they, there is a process which they provide and if we have some eagerness to experience then Uh, we start off on that avenue that we have discovered avenue that is opened up for us and beyond that if that person is very potent spiritually like lord Ch- chaitanya is undoubtedly then just by their presence by their pot- purity by their potency uh, at least temporarily we get pulled along that path so toward that experience just like a you know object with a heavy gravity pull comes near something then it can pull that object towards it pull other objects towards it similarly at least temporarily our conscious temporarily our consciousness may get very elevated and we also start experiencing high spiritual emotions even if we are at not such a high spiritual level just by proximity to those who are at a high spiritual level and that's why you know whether it is just discovering the path whether it is moving forward on that path or whether at least being temporary mood way ahead on that path whichever of these are the results each result each of these results is beneficial and auspicious for the souls in materialistic consciousness and that's why the association of saintly people is emphasized so much so chaitanya mahaprabhu is supremely potent and does he gives people the opportunity to experience spiritual ecstasy just by proximity to him manushyar vesh dev gandharva kinar sapt patale riyat daitya vishadhar सप्त पाताले inhabitants of the higher 
or even the lower planets they all uh, they all at least those who were wise among them wanted the highest experience and thus they came to have the darshan of lord chaitanya and to not cause too much disruption on the earth by their appearance they dressed as human beings this capacity to change forms is there among the celestials and in general there is a order in the universe that governs different aspects of the universe and that order is not to be disrupted so that's why usually when celestial beings when beings from other world come over here they often come in an inconspicuous garb in kwe especially when they are coming to receive and chaitanya mahaprabhu has come to the earth to bestow he has not ascended on the heavens or on any other planet so they take on the garb of uh, they, they they manushya ravishe they come in a human form to experience that spiritual ecstasy ವಿಪಲ್ ಕೇ Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so attractive, so potent, that people from far and wide came to have darshan of him. Prahlad bali vyasa shukra adi monigan, asi prabhu dekhe preme hai acheta. Even great saintly persons like Prahlad, bali vyasa shukra adi, four examples are given over here. And we see that all these four examples, and Prahlad bali, Vasu and Vyasa and Shukra, they are prominent bhaktas, they have a prominent role in the Bhagavatam and that they are, these four are mentioned by name, Adi Munigan, along with other messages. Specific names, names that are told also signifies how the Chaitanya Charitamrath is founded in the Bhagavatam, that those saintly people who are considered prominent great devotees in the bhagavatam are experiencing are seeking and relishing higher ecstasies which are which are pointed to in the bhagavatam especially in the 10th canto but which are stressed on in this in the in the descent of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu asi prabhu dekhe preme hai achetan so when they came and they beheld they fell unconscious hai achetan completely they became devoid of any consciousness so it's how do we become unconscious it is when we experience something so intense that the body can't sustain that experience then the body or the mind need to switch off so that uh, that experience doesn't devastate us so that's how ecstasy at the spiritual level when it becomes so overwhelming then at the physical or mental level the consciousness gets switched off for some time bahire fukare lok darshan na paya ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಹೆ ಬಲೇನ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಾಹೇರ ಆಸಿಯಾ ವೆನ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಕುಡಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಮೇಡ್ ಲಾವ್ಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಫುಕಾರೆ ನಾವು ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವಾಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೀ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ವಾಸ್ ರೆಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ he was also responsive so whereas lord chaitanya preferred to be reclusive but he deferred to being responsive when necessary and thus he came out to give his darshan to 
the people who are fervently calling out to for, for his that darshan. It's significant that Lord Chaitanya was not always ready, easily available, but he was not entirely unavailable. And he was, we could say, reciprocal depending on the eagerness of the people. And we see this is how it is in today's world also. If there are lots of devotee seekers, then those who are devotee sharers, devotee preachers, they will go to those places more. Because naturally they would like to give Krishna more and more. So Krishna can be given more either when the audience is of, is of quality or quantity or both. There is a large number of people or there are many, many, they are very serious people or best is if there is both. So here we could have this is always a tension between quality and quantity. So if there is no quality, no quantity, then we can again draw four quadrants. If there is no quality, no quantity, then that is one is not doing any outreach at all. Now if there is quality but no quantity or high quality, less quantity. That is good. At least we are getting very serious, seriously devoted people. Um, then we can also have high quantity and low quality. That could be like mass outreach. That could be, say, the way Srila Prabhupada did outreach in India, where mostly it was life members who were coming. And yes, they may have pious, they may have valued virtuous lives. But in terms of the quality of their commitment to sadhana, it was not much. So Prabhupada still accepted them very warmly. And gradually, we uh, the best is if, so we need to, we can have outreach to get people out of the first quadrant. And all three are outreach. There is, from no quality, no quantity, you can have quality but no quantity, quantity but no quality. And quantity and quality. Now we have to be clear that the third quadrant is the destination. But we also need to be clear that not everybody will be ready to get to the third third quadrant. And no, it could be that there may be some audience is not ready, some preachers are not particularly potent in particular ways, but whichever, whatever it is, that so some some audience maybe may move from first to third quadrant, fourth quadrant, or depending on how you name it. Rather, the goal is the fourth quadrant, that is quality and quantity. So, if we have quantity but not quality, if somebody is moving from the first to the third quadrant then that is that is that is also outreach and while Prabhupada did say ekas chandrastamo hanti nishtara sasrashaha but Prabhupada was not fixated on that alone in a sense Prabhupada's life membership outreach was was creating was focusing on the stars so if there was a choice between a thousand stars and one moon Prabhupada focus on the moon but sometimes it's not a choice between the two some people are just going to be stars they are not going to become moons so then do we extinguish the stars no we accept the stars also beautify the sky so the challenge comes when people in people who could get to the fourth say stuck in the second or the third quadrants so those who have quality but they don't scale so that they don't get quantity when they could thinking that if they did some tweaks if they presented themselves better and those who have quantity if they don't create a structure or for people to move toward quality and if they don't talk also about that there are quadrants which are higher then it can be a problem but otherwise 
actually there are various ways in which people can experience um, spiritual growth and we need to accommodate all of them so prabhu ra darshan e sab lok prem abhyase e matayaya prabhu ra ratri ni va divase prabhu ra darshan e sab lok prem abhyase that on seeing the darshan of the lord lord chaitanya what happened all people became inundated with an ecstatic love for lord chaitanya e matayaya prabhu ra ratri divase in this way lord chaitanya spent his day and night ratri divase this how he was ecstatic constantly not allowing himself he was ecstatic and he was inspiring others to become ecstatic and such was his immense devotion that was experienced over here ek din lok aasi prabhu re nivedila gopi than gopi na ther bad jaan change chadaila so now while this was going on at a routine level the specific incident starts and this is the incident which is about gopinath patnaika in this incident we'll start we'll discuss in our next session the specifics so to summarize in this session we discussed about primarily how spiritual ecstasy is transmitted by just by, by behold when we somebody has darshan beholds a great saintly devotee having a spiritual experience it is either the door is a path is opened or the people are propelled down the path or people are propelled way way or you could say down or up the path to long distance so the path opening people getting uh, people moving on the path or people being propelled on the path uh, at least temporarily way ahead all these are ways in which as the, the ecstasy can be provided and also we discussed about how lord chaitanya was reclusive but he was also responsive and how the thrust of this chapter is not so much lord chaitanya giving ecstasy but also it is lord chaitanya's devotees they make the barren or barren hearts of those who are non devotees flooded with love and lastly that they talked about quality and quantity that when <clears throat> that ideally we talk also about how compassion means that there uh, there are we move from no quality no quantity to either quality or no quantity quantity or no quality but eventually quality and quantity and also we talked about spiritual experience that while all the devotees are described as dayamaya some devotees also all devotees are described as rasamaya some also described dayamaya so we discussed about how four quadrants people who have no spiritual experience or explanation experience but and explain explanation but no explanation explanation but no experience and experience and explanation so compassion it are those people who share both thank you we'll continue in our next session